breakfast for the birthday boy is French toast, a fried egg, and then two sausage patties, and some lemon honey ginger tea. I'm sauteing the seaweed to make seaweed soup, so I'm just about to add the broth to this. I just added the anchovy broth to this, and I'm just going to bring it up to a boil and start seasoning this. So let me show you guys the end result. Ta-da! It's pretty much the same as what you guys saw. You can see a little bit more color out of it. And it's been seasoned and it's ready to eat. Got some rice, the seaweed soup, leftover chicken, marinated dried squid. Here's our little baby boy. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> Are you tired? You're slowly waking up? Yeah, we gotta go for a walk soon. Oh, that feels good. Did that feel good? Yeah. I know. I know. So cute. Why are you so cute? It's pretty warm. I have a sweater and a jacket and I'm feeling a little cozy, but, huh? Seems like almost 60. Yeah, 60-ish? Look at this pretty little rock somebody painted and placed here. Oh, it looks kind of weird in the light here. Where is it? There you go. Nice and peaceful, and then you hear Bronx <laughs> with his like snarling, his breathing. It was so nice. <laughs> I'm out of breath because we walked up this like small trail where there were fire ants. I shouldn't have looked down, but everywhere I looked there were fire ants. It scared the crap out of me, but we made it up here just for the view. Are you torn between mommy and daddy? Come on, let's go. I don't know if you guys can see there's like a ring around the sun i don't know if it's coming through on this but it's quite weird hella excited he's trying to catch up to his friends over there <laughs> Hey buddy. Hey buddy. 
Where? Oh, <laughs> we don't want another face plant, do we? Good tip wrong. Hi, sweet boy. Where are you such in a rush to get to? Bronxy. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where you're trying to go? Where are you trying to go? Why are you such in a hurry? Huh? Let me see your spit, Bronx. Wow, look at those. Look at those spit jewels. Oh my gosh, you connected it on the other side. You're so talented, Bronx. So I actually took some time to get ready because I looked pretty defeated and that's because I was defeated from our walk but um, yeah I took some time to get ready it's Edwin's birthday I'm gonna have to go pick up his birthday dinner in a little bit but in the meantime I'm gonna cook some food for this little boy over here so glad I came home too Bronx is getting cleaned <laughs> you're so funny so this is the takeout I got it's from Ascend in Bellevue this is a let's see here um um, this one, oh, this one's the Washington apple salad. There's apples, roasted squash, daikon, baby kale, toasted almonds, and wasabi vinaigrette. It looks good. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to almonds, and I didn't know there was going to be almonds on here, so that's kind of a loss for me, but more salad for Edwin. And then these are the sides. There's sautéed broccolini. It's all fogged up, so you can't see. And then there's truffle mac and cheese. Yum. And then this is our main meal. It's braised prime short rib with a potato puree. Chocolate raspberry. Really? I don't know. It's tiramisu. Oh, nice. He's under the table. What you doing there, Bronx? You're so silly. Oh, why is he so red over here? <gasps> Babe, what happened here? Oh, he had, um, he was dirty in there. So oh my gosh. I cleaned him out. But he had like... Is he um, okay? Yeah. Why does it look bloody in here? Because he... Scabs or something in there. Not oh. scabs, but you know, like. Do we need to put Neosporin yeah. on it? No. Are you sure? I'm scrubbing him oh out my there. gosh. He looked like he's. Can I see? Well, he was pretty dirty in there, yeah, under the fold, so I had to like. Oh my gosh. But it looks so. It's like Dakji almost, you know? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'll put it. I know, but he was like wanting me to do it because he was just like. Here's our plated dinner salad and Edwin's portion with a glass of whiskey. Everything is bomb. Mmm, the puree is good. Just finished eating. Let me show you guys how much or what we have left over. This is my um, leftovers. Still have some broccolini and a good chunk of the meat left. A little bit of the truffle mac and cheese. And then Edwin's um, leftovers. And then he cleaned off his plate and pretty much almost all the salad. 
Is it tree time? It's tree time. He just ate one. Which hand? I think he's a little busy trying to finish his. You okay, Bronx? There you go. Yay! Yay! You found it! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Good job! Okay. No more. No more. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Wrong. That's so sad. Why you gotta give me that look? How should I cut it? You can do... Yeah, you can do it. Rocks! You can eat that one. Is that what you want me to do? Mm. Time you do, I think. Espresso, no? Mm. It's good though. After we eat this, we're gonna bring the other half to Edwin's parents' house because it's kind of sad he didn't get to celebrate with his parents. <laughs> Although they shouldn't be eating this because <laughs> they have diabetes. Well, his dad has diabetes, his mom's doesn't have diabetes. She doesn't have diabetes, but I think she's on her way, isn't she? Like to getting diabetes. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I'm sure they'll like control themselves a little bit, but I figured why not share cake since we weren't able to celebrate together. You want more? My dad will like still eat sweets. Yeah. His dad will still eat sweets. One time we saw him <laughs> I saw him at the grocery store. He was pretty much all well. And then the guy was getting the like the last two items or, like, or the last like one item. He's just standing there ready to pay all smiling and happy. And I'm like, hey, there's your dad, you know? He looks so happy. So we approach him to like, see what he's buying. He was buying pints of ice cream. That's why he was so happy. <laughs> and we all know he should not be eating ice cream. So, you know, that happened. And then his mom was saying how like, what she was upstairs or something doing something and then she was coming down and your dad was 
was he shuffling or something like he was hiding something he was hiding something like he was shuffling something as if he was trying to hide it turns out that he ate ice cream that he shouldn't have eaten which we laugh about because it's kind of funny but we shouldn't really be laughing because yeah. it's kind of scary if you think about it like if you have really bad diabetes it could lead to some bad stuff but although i heard it was better it is he is better actually but he's taking medication and it is getting better and he definitely is um well i think your whole family is trying to change the the diet it's like they don't really eat carbs anymore and they eat like vegetables rice that's the killer yeah so like no more rice for them um and they don't eat carbs as much rarely if any so i'm sure they'll take this in moderation um and they won't just devour it so we're going to call it a night and we'll see you next time. Bye.